Hi everyone, Jason here, Robot Lawn Miles Australia. Today I was going to run you through the Robo Linho 700E model. Uh, this is the machine that's actually made by Solo. Now, Solo are one of the companies that are owned by Alco, and Alco owns Massport. So these guys are actually distributed under the Massport banner here in Australia. Uh, so a decent brand that you can actually trust. The robot moles themselves, so Alco have been selling uh, robot moles uh, in, in Germany and Austria and, uh, and all of Europe for a long, long, long time. And they actually are one of the, one of the better brands available uh, worldwide. Uh, and I'll go through a few reasons why. They very much are you know, quite an understated machine here in Australia because they really are built very, very well. Uh, these guys are designed in Germany, they're built in Austria um, and they basically, you know, my single word explanation of these guys is calibrated. They just are a very refined, precise machine uh, right down to the point that the bump sensors of these guys are calibrated to exactly two kilos. And the drive motors uh, for travel on these machines uh, the processing of that of the power to those motors is very well refined. Uh, they don't lose traction very much at all because they can sense the traction loss underneath them. The machine itself uh, is really quite a well-made well, well -made machine. Uh, it's really quite strong. It's got a really good outside cover on it which really protects everything inside the machine. Um, wheels, again, are slightly rubber-based plastics, uh, so they've got a little bit of give in them, so they're really not, not too bad at all as far as the uh, the composite of the wheels, uh, two wheels in the front, so it really makes a big difference uh, when it comes to uneven surfaces when you've got two wheels, and they are a reasonable size front wheel as well. Um, the cutting deck, as you can see, is a razor blade system, but these are different to other mowers on the market because uh, most of the uh, razor blade systems on robot lawn mowers are trivial and they kick back if they hit something. These guys are actually a solidly fixed blade, um, which makes them a very, very strong cutting machine. Um, we don't seem to have any issues with these blades actually breaking and snapping, so they really do a great job. They're a little bit stronger than the standard razor blades that you would see in other machines. Um, and there's four discs, uh, not to mention that the two blades on, the, on this side here are actually lower. They're about five millimeters lower than the two blades here and here. So it's actually got, it cuts at two different spots at the same time, which mulches the grass even finer than other machines. They're a really well serviceable machine. Uh, so if they do have a fault or anything like that comes back to us, um, there's diagnostic software that we plug into these machines that can actually tell us what's going wrong with it, which is really great. Big red stop button on top. Um, very, very easy. Opens up to a control panel, which I'll show you on the screen above, um, which has got uh, a rain sensor across the top. And that rain sensor is a much better designed rain sensor than any other machine on the market. It actually, it really does. It senses how much rain, not just, just that it's got wet. Um, and then you've got all your standard buttons there for controlling the menu access in these guys. Um, and the height adjustment knob, so it's a manually height adjusted uh, machine, uh, like most robot moles are. Uh, and this guy goes between 25 and 55 millimeters. Uh, and that cutting system that I mentioned before, that's 22 centimeters in diameter. So a reasonably wide cutting system, really powerful blade system, um, and basically just a very, very well made machine. Another distinguishable difference between these, between these guys and most other machines is that cutting system under there, under there again. If the machine gets under load because it's cutting through really thick grass, these guys will actually stop. They'll spin the blade system up to a, a much higher RPM uh, and then travel at about half speed. So I'll show you some footage of that uh, as well so you can see exactly what these guys do. That makes them particularly good for really thick and even long thick grasses. The charging system on these guys, um, so we've got a drive-in, drive-out docking system on these. So there are the charge pins on the side here, charge pin here and here, and it meets up on this charger here, under this pin and this pin. So they actually come in, they drive, they drive straight into the docking station and dock up like such, which is really fantastic uh, and very reliable. Uh, they, they dock 100% of the time, these guys. They really are a very reliable docking system. So what I'll do is I'll set this guy running for about an hour and, uh, and just show you how it cuts the grass here. This grass 
Uh, I've left it for about a week now, so it's grown a fair bit. Um, not as much as I would have liked it to grow to show this video, uh, but I'll show you the difference before and after this guy's done its cut and uh, show you a time-lapse video of the machine doing its job. Just before I throw you into, a, into the video of watching how the machine work, um, I just thought I'd mention that these guys sit very differently off the wire uh, compared to other robot mowers. Um, you see here with the wire that's exposed here in this spot here, um, the wire is actually only installed 15 centimetres from the edge, which essentially would mean the edge of your fence or house would only be about here somewhere, um, because these guys actually sit only about 10 centimetres of the outside of the machine goes past the wire, so they actually sit with the wire going along about here compared to a lot of other machines where the wire goes straight down the middle. Um, so be aware of that, that these, this wire, uh, when installed, is, is really quite close to the edges, 15 centimetres to a hard edge, like a fence or a wall or a house or something like that, um, and a soft edge like against a, a concrete edge or a path or something like that, you can actually install the wire directly beside the path or just a couple of centimetres uh, into the lawn from the path so that the robot can actually get all the way to the edge um, because the cut to the edge on, the, on this particular machine is approximately, and I haven't actually measured this, but it's approximately seven to eight centimetres from the outside of the machine to the edge, to the, to the cutting edge. So that blade actually mows pretty much, or cuts, cuts right up to the front corner of the machine here. Now, let me put that back on where it would actually sit, which is about there. So it actually only cuts about, sort of about three, or five, three to five centimetres on the outside of the wire. Um, so if you do have it sitting off the edge like this particular installation is because this wire that I'm going to test it on now The wire is actually installed 25 centimeters in from the edge uh, So it's going to leave a considerably wide uncut edge on my lawn right now uh, But you can refine that that edge and that that wire to the edge to make sure that you only end up with around about 10 centimeters of uncut grass Okay, so that was an hour and 45 minutes on this lawn, which is significantly higher than what the battery is actually rated at. Uh, so the run time on these machines is supposed to be one hour, um, which is so that's run for a one and three quarter hour in one single charge, and so that's significantly better than what they are, what it's rated to do. The grass is pretty well 100% finished. I can't, can't see any spots that are actually left with any grass sticking up now. Um, so I'll take a couple little shots here to show you the, the, the before and afters so you can see how it went. Uh, but that's uh, essentially how that mower operates. Okay, right. So the Robo Linho 700E. Um, really good, really reliable machine. Excellent dock, excellent docking ability. The cutting power on it is really fantastic and the way it cuts is really, really good. Um, the travel on the machine is really well refined. Um, it doesn't spin its wheels very much. Um, although we didn't demonstrate it here, it's not too bad on hills uh, either. So it is rated to 45% um, in, in the lawn and about sort of 25% on the edges. Um, it's quite good at that, again, because the drive motors, um, they start off nice and slow and they don't, they don't spin the wheels very easily. So very good, very robust machine, really reliable, easily serviceable, um, spare parts all available as well in Australia and with us. The zoning on this guy, you can run this up to four zones, uh, one zone from the base station and three programmable zones, um, and obviously the schedule for that so you can set multiple times per day uh, on the schedule uh, to allow it to go out and mow those zones as, as and when required. I really think that the uh, the pros of this machine really far outweigh the cons. Um, really, there are no cons with this machine. It really is pretty fantastic at how, how it does its job. Um, obviously, there's no connectivity with this machine 
Uh, so the only con I can say with it is that it doesn't notify you on your phone uh, via an app or something when, when something actually goes wrong, if something goes wrong. Uh, but realistically, it is a set and forget machine. So once you've installed it, once you've installed the wire and programmed it to operate, uh, you should have no troubles at all with this machine. So I hope that helps you guys uh, understand what this machine is all about. Uh, as always, uh, if you need to contact us, you can email us at sales at robotlawnmowers.com.au. You can check out our website at www.robotlawnmowers.com.au uh, or find us on Facebook. Uh, just search for Robot Lawnmowers Australia on Facebook. Thanks for watching.